Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. And we got the Missy Plane. We finna be Missy, Missy, Missy Cole. We finna be Mexico, Missy. Yes, we're gonna be talking about Nene Leaks, Candy Burris, and Cynthia Bailey. Now, who would have thought Miss Cynthia Bailey would have thrown Nene Leaks for a curveball? Yes, we all thought that Nene Leaks was gonna be on Big Brother, Celebrity Big Brother. But who come out the corner? Who come out the works? Who come out the woods on us? Cynthia Bailey. <laughs> I don't think nobody saw that. We got an 86 the idea of Tiffany Pollard. Hello, New York. And I'm a rich bitch. I cash Trump checks. Nene Leaks. Okay. Real Housewives with Atlanta is my baby. I'm sitting on top of the throne, okay? Where it seems like you have toppled and we must say goodbye to baby New York, okay? Because they are not in the picture. They are not in the picture anymore. And thank you, Tamara Tales, for using that little clip of your video. But oh yes, oh yes indeed. <coughs> the three musketeers right there. And we have to kind of be sorry for Mr. Miss Cynthia Bailey, too, because I hear her marriage may be on the rocks, y'all. The marriage may be on the rocks. Yes, because he been out here doing interviews with people saying he didn't know if him and Cynthia Bailey would have made it to their uh, second winter anniversary. And I'm like, what? Where is this coming from? But, of course, we had that rumor that he was allegedly out there sneaking uh, what do you call it? Spreading it, laying it low and spreading it wide while Cynthia was in Atlanta and they were doing this coast to coast relationship. Yes, I know y'all remember that. Mm hmm. And Cynthia did not come from nowhere, no how, no shape, form, or fashion to come out and say anything. All right. <coughs> but he was, you know, trying to make all these speeches here and there and saying he wouldn't have done that and this, that, and the third. And Shoot, we already know he was a cheater because he told us that he was a cheater. He couldn't keep the first two ones he had. But, you know, he always be, be doing the extra. And I'm still like, I didn't care for him when he was trying to call himself meeting her on the Steve Harbor show. And who is he to be giving expert relationship advice? You know, Steve Harbor, I mean, let's look at his track record. <coughs> and we all know. We remember seeing that video right there or that taping on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Well, he was telling everybody that he didn't love his first two wives. <laughs> and with his child there in the audience. Okay, she was sitting right there when he was saying he didn't love her mama. So I got so frazzled and upset, she had to go upstairs. <clears throat> and then he didn't even understand what he had said or did. And I'm like, Cynthia, are you listening, baby? Are you listening? But evidently she wasn't listening because she married him anyway. But allegedly there is trouble in paradise. And it's kind of like, to me, Big Brother's like a has-been show. <coughs> or trying to redevelop talent that they don't lost along the way. Now, I don't really know about Todrick, because he's always been in the show biz, business with Taylor Swift. Did some things with Candy Burris. But I am willing to bet. Girl, did Julie Chin call you Candy? Did she call you and say, which one should we choose between your two friends? Because they're both on the roster. And, of course, I believe them three went to lunch or something. Or they had a three-way phone call. Say, girl, Candy, go on here, get that girl on there. She knows she need a paycheck. And she having trouble with Mike, too. And we don't know where she may be. Nene don't need that spot. Let her get her own stuff. And she, she, no, they probably saying, well, she a has-been anyway because she don't blocked her chances for Real Housewives of Atlanta renewal. She's not getting any paycheck. She might just, Cynthia needs it better. So, Candy, so I hear you, I hear you. I was going to say that anyway, because that's my friend. I love Cynthia. I love myself some Cynthia. And, of course, Candy had shouted her out once she got the uh, golden egg goose sent to her, saying she was going to be on uh, Big Brother. <coughs> and then we didn't hear anything about Nene and Tiffany Pollard or New York as we come to know and love her. Honey, they shaded Nene so bad. I want to do what Nene feel about that. Her sidekick, Cynthia, getting play. And she wouldn't get nothing. They won't even get her a heyday no more. Nene been trying. I've been telling Nene and um, Portia need to go on over there to Zeus Network. 
I'm pretty sure they will have him on a roster and a show coming to us from them soon. Okay, we got to pay for it. <laughs> it won't be on mainstream TV. So I don't know what them two are doing, but they're treading water over there. They're starting more junk in society. That's not a very good mix for anything or anyone. Nene is out there messing with a married man and thinking he's going to be her man one day. And I'm like, how? Don't be a cliche. Baby girl, don't be a cliche. But those are the lighting startups for the new season of Big Brother. And look who in the center. Look who in the center, y'all. Look at all giving us face and fashion. Face and fashion. Yes, she need the dollars because she got to do something with that Bailey agency. <coughs> and then she got to save some coins in case Mike end up really leaving her. Which I know Cynthia don't found out something. But she's just trying to play it low. Hopefully it'll go away and this, that, and the third. And Candy trying to look out for it. Because I'm pretty sure she don't spill the beans to Candy about something in her, in her relationship ain't right. And she needs to be, you know, because Candy's that, that change maker. She be making that change happen. She be pulling for that money tree. Everything she touches like golden. All right. So she probably had that little talk with Jenny Chin and said, yeah, my girl, um, you know, both of them, you know, I know both of them. We all have a history. But, you know, I think Cynthia will be a better match for it. Even though we all know Cynthia ain't going to come out victorious. No, she'll probably leave in the first or second, third <laughs> episode. But just the, the fact, I think they do get something for appearing on the show. But they don't get that grand, grand, grand prize. You know what I'm saying? I may be wrong. I'm really not knowing. I just know I watched it because Candy Birds and Tamar were two of my favorites. And I wanted to see what they were going to give with the other guests. You know, because they have some older ones in there. And middle, you know, they had like season ones, and they have them, the middle ones, like in their thirties, and then they might have, you know, somebody a little younger than that, but you know, they still are consenting adult. But honey, them been, them two been a thorn on each other's side for the most, because I think Nene is kind of jealous of Candy, but Candy's young and she's hungry, and so she's gonna go for what she feels she needs to have, and she has the right attitude that producers and other walks of life that have money that can put her on a bigger platform they like her attitude she stays in line she gives direction and she comes up with more innovative type of ideas even though it's going to be focused more on her to gain more money but you know she makes good television especially when she got her family involved because anything the olg with them <laughs> them three the mama them two aunts my favorite is on bertha because she keep it real all the way all day long you know what i'm saying it's just something about her being her age and the experience that she had to go through made her into the woman where she don't take no shit from nobody you know what i'm saying them days are over with she'll get you two two sizes shaped up you know what i'm saying so i, I just that's what i really feel i think you know somebody called candy on her camp and said look uh we got these two women that seems like you know they want to you know their agents have gotten with me about you know selecting them as possible you know being on the show and this that and third i know you got a, a good end with both of them you know them real well which one you think would be the unsuspected one that could probably win between those two you know and she probably said hmm, since ain't gonna win but i rather go and give her that spotlight because she's gonna be like the mediator and she's gonna always try to keep you know both sides at bay and trying to keep them happy you know and maybe they needed that kind of person because the rest of these people that are there <coughs> that's when Ken and Tamar was on the season and um that was cute because they got rid of all of them because <laughs> I wanted the one in the gray beard to win to tell you the truth because Joey wasn't gonna win you know and the other ones you know they was okay here and there but when I Tamar was out we did all they behind she the most one was causing trouble around there I was like oh my goodness but the last two was Tamar or Candy and um you know everybody's rooting for Tamar because hell I was too because she was breaking up with Vince at the time she needed the money Candy had already solidified herself she's married got a family and all that <coughs> so I, I was glad that it did go to Tamar but yeah it's trouble in paradise is what i'm hearing hopefully they can weather the storm but cynthia she's a giver she wants things to work but i guess she has a generational curse on her where things are just not gonna work out for her 
And I think it's the man, the men that she picked that kind of overpowering, overshadow her, and she don't really have a voice. So maybe she'll have a voice in Big Brother, and she'll turn the tides, and we can kind of look at her from a different perspective. You know what I'm saying? We can see what Nene was trying to tell us who this other Cynthia or Cynthia. Uh, 50 cent half of 50 cent or whatever is going to be like or show us what she can be like behind closed doors really don't know we just really treading water because i may look at it just to see that first episode but to tell you the truth i could care less because in my heart of hearts i know Cynthia ain't gonna make it she ain't gonna make it to the last um it would be i don't know earthquake shattering if she did win big brother but she just don't. She just don't seem like she really should even be on this show, because <coughs> it's not like her. She's not energetic. She's not like a powerful speaker, or one that can come in and control the room like New York could have did. And Nene could have did that well too. But I could see Nene in New York fighting for the spot. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I don't know. Todrick to me could be one that could be a contender but if either one of them had to go with i think new york would have uh tko nene real quick and then he would have had you know words to say and getting all you know boisterous about it and this that and the third but i didn't you know care too much i wanted to see uh new york before i saw nene on there because I, I, like i said i think it's just a show that should be for i don't know the middle age prop group like from 30s and 40s uh and that's pretty much it but they gonna run their show the way they want to run it but because hell i could have saw kenya moore on there too so but maybe cynthia grow out of her shell but if she ain't come out if she don't do well on this show and she comes out to be like a bump on the law that's just cynthia from here on out to the day she died this is what she's gonna do and what she's gonna give us and we might well be um uh, be just be settled with that's what she's gonna give us because she's not that tight Unless she just, like I said, do it behind closed doors and nobody really see it but certain people. But getting on into the story, that's just my observation of everything. Um, I'm getting it from Showbiz Cheat Sheet. Um, and Armando Tenneco wrote it out for us on the 27th. Which is, is it day the 27th or 28th, y'all? Okay, the 28th, so it was uh, put out yesterday. But it goes into say... Real Housewives star Candy Burr is excited for Cynthia Bailey on Celebrity Big Brother 3. Candy Burr is not on, she's not the only one from the queens of the Real Housewives of Atlanta, but she has made appearances on other reality shows. Back in 2019, the Grammy Award winning star competed on the second season of Celebrity Big Brother. Although Burr didn't win, she was a fan favorite from the Bravo Universe and former co-star. Cynthia Bailey is now being, or she's now joining the third season as the cast was revealed. Burris gave a shout out to Bailey to wish her luck. Burris is a supportive queen, and after it was revealed that Bailey was entering the Celebrity Big Brother, the Real Housewives of Atlanta star shared an Instagram post supporting her. The entrepreneur knows what it's like to compete in the house, and she most likely shared some wisdom. Um, with Bailey beforehand. I said, I know she did. Candy got you that job, then she sent them. Cause you know that ain't finna work out with that man right there. And to keep it <coughs> on the low like most people wanna do, I'ma speak it out loudly. I think he go bisexual is what I think. That's just me, y'all. It might just creep me out. I don't know why. I, I can't really say why. But he just gives me that bisexual tease. But um, I did want to say. Um, I forgot about New York. She was on the UK version. A big celebrity brother. So why would she want to come and do the US version. I do not know. I don't know what her manager was thinking about. But I guess they be thinking about. Let's get her booked and busy. Like Nene want to be now. Instead of hanging out at the Lanesia Lounge. Getting bored as hell. And fooling around with married men. That ain't going to treat her no better. Than what uh, he treated his wife. Okay. Because he do have a wife. And he do have a son. Over there in North Carolina. I believe it is. So how do you think that man's going to treat you Nene. Okay. How you get treated is how you pick them up on the street. Okay baby. From the street you will return from what the street you came from. Okay. But anyway, you'll see that later on down the road. Because you ain't doing nothing right. So when you're not doing anything right, how do you expect anything to come back right to you? 
I'm just saying, Nene. I'm saying I'm saluting Candy for doing that thing for Cynthia because she knows she probably need it. She knows she probably need it because we do have girl talk. We do have girl family talk. And we do let our hair down and we tell some of our most kept embarrassing secrets to the ones we think we can trust. And Candy, she's pretty much trustworthy. She ain't going to uh, throw you out there unless you throw her out there because the gloves are off then. But it just is what it is. But going back to the article, it said, I'm excited for my girl, Cynthia Bailey, for joining the new season of Celebrity Big Brother. Everyone tune in and support my girl. Burris posted. Ahead of the cast reveal, it was rumored that Nene Leakes was being contacted to join the show. However, the tastiest peach in Atlanta denied she was even in conversations to compete for the grand prize. I'm like, really, Nene? No, they probably told your agent, probably after talking to Candy, allegedly. Uh, <laughs> Julie Chan probably said, no, nah, Nene's going to be a bit too much. She comes with all this extra baggage. We don't know what she may do because she's a fighter too. She might not be shown in a best light. She'll be trying to cut off production. We don't need that kind of smoke. We don't need that kind of heat. Let's just go with Cynthia Baylor. She's very neutral. She's very um, uh, pal palatable for the taste and, and the entertainment we're trying to give. She don't start no shit. Uh, she don't even think about starting shit, really. We might have to put a fire up under her behind. But, yeah, let's just stay neutral and go with Cynthia. And that's probably how it came along. That's how I'm pretty much seeing it, people. That's how I'm pretty much seeing it. But, going back to the article, it said, ahead of the cast. I'm sorry, it says, Bailey would not be the only housewife on, uh, Celebrity Big Brother 3. As the former Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star, Teddy Mellencamp, was also confirmed to be a part of the cast. Other house guests include Carson Crisley, Chris Caton, Chris uh, Kirk Patrick, Lamar Odom, and that's Chloe Kardashian, I think, uh, first husband that got, got all drug. You know, he just got. We don't even go in there. He had some hard. He had a hard time. <laughs> we'll put it like that. Hanging out with them Kardashians, brother had a hard time. And, you know, he partaked of some substances and stuff like that. And he just got really crazed out his mind. But hopefully he's doing much better. Maybe he'll tell us a little bit about it while he's on Big Brother. Hopefully not, you know, but it just is what it is. And then he was engaged to some other woman that turned uh, a deathly spin where that relationship died out too as well. But it just is what it is. But picking back up on the uh, celebrity people that will be hosting or being a part of the show. Misha Tate, uh, Mariah Nagazi, Shauna Merklor, and Todd Bridges. Y'all know Todd Bridges from a diff different strokes. As a world don't move, just to be just one drum. What might be right for you, may not be right for some. A man is born. Something like that. Okay. Y'all know. Different strokes. It takes. Different strokes it takes. Different strokes to move the world. Y'all know that. Uh, if y'all don't know where to Google it. Okay. It's an old time favorite. Uh, rich white man. Wanted sons. He didn't have a wife. He wanted. He had a daughter. But he wanted more children. He went to the foster home. Scooped up uh, the two brothers. I forget their name. Uh, but it don't matter. Just look up different strokes. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But anyway, it goes on to say the celebrities competing in the grand... Wait a minute. The celebrities competing in the game are on vibing for a $250,000 cash payout prize. Celebrity Big Brother House premieres on February the 2nd on CBS. And in 24-7, live feeds will be made available Paramount Plus subscribers. Okay. But Candy was up there doing her thing. And we had some um, reactions towards fans of Simpson are joining Big Brother. And they wrote after Bird shared her support for her former Real Housewives of Atlanta star. It wasn't long before fans came in to give their opinions. Some talked about Burr's kindness, while others didn't seem too hopeful about Bailey making it as far in the celebrity Big Brother game. Candy, you're the nicest housewife ever, a fan replied. You're a supporter. You're such a supportive friend, a fellow uh, follower noted. I love you ladies. Friendship evolved. Congrats, Cynthia. And Instagram user commented. Cynthia's boring as a sack of potatoes, another fan said. She's definitely not going to make it, uh, a follower predicted. I'm glad she's on there. Now it's the time for her to show them that she has beauty and brains, another Instagram user mentioned. So, 
um, after much thought and consideration, I have made the very difficult and heartfelt decision. I, okay, no, that's something else. I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, that's like Cynthia's speech that she was pretty much given that she wasn't going to be on uh, <coughs> Real Housewives of Atlanta anymore. And they were just ending it up. But my thing about it, Cynthia did say she didn't want to be on no more reality TV shows. You see how this just slap her in the face as well? See how we have to uplift her and then bring her back down in the same uh sentence because you know she said she wanted to take a break from reality tv drama and when you're going into the brick brother house you compete psychological you playing on mind games and it's going to be some tension here and there but i guess she's saying this tension and a uh, reality show is much more different and not dramatized as much as being with ladies and family with them and them coming up with different scenarios to get on your nerves so I, I guess I can see Cynthia's point that this is really not the reality shows that she's used to doing. That this is a little bit more tasteful. They got the opposite sex involved. And most of the time we got men involved for some reason. Women don't act as ratchet as they should. Or they have been doing when it's just an all female cast. So it's going to be interesting to see. Like I said I'm not really sure. It's not one of my favorites because I am one of the ones that I don't think Cynthia will make it to the end. Because her strategic ways, she don't have any. Uh, she's just like a bump on a log. She goes with where the, you know, wherever the wind is blowing stronger. Uh, she don't want to be counted out. So she tries to play the safe way all the time. So it was disappointing to see um, New York and Nene not being featured on the show. But like I said, I think... Um, Tiffany Pollard or We Love New York uh, as a trade name would have ate, ate Nene up real bad. And Nene wouldn't have been able to take it. Uh, and, you know, probably been some backlash and some fallout. And probably some producers getting, you know, whooped on or <laughs> whatever. But that's uh, pretty much all I had. Excuse me, guys. For um, the video, uh, just showcasing to see how... The Three Musketeers just strikes again. And they always rooting for one another. And somehow Nene just always be on the outside. <laughs> the outside looking in. But like she says. It, and it, it comes to be very befitting. Because she put it out there. And she's actually getting it back towards her. Which is negativity. She always said when you play dirty you can never win. And we're kind of seeing that in this transparent but yet undercover tone that she beat Nene out for a job and she's like smirking like yeah I got you bitch I got you they had you on a dotted line as, uh, as well as me and look who won out like I said I think Cynthia's gonna be facing an uphill battle too with losing another relationship because Mike she knows she'd have really been with Mike in the first place but Cynthia just has this ideal dream like Portia. They have to be married. They can't stand on their own. They can't be by themselves. They can't be alone. And all that, that craziness. I'm like, child, please. But um, we'll see how it all works out with her relationship. As well as her relationship on this Big Brother um, series that she's going to be on. Trying to give us another spin of how she gets down. Uh, at this time in her life. We wish her well. We wish her well with her marriage. If that's where she, her heart and soul is. But you know the two people got to want the same thing. You can't have one people fighting for something. Uh, that it should be two, a two part. One scenario. Two, two hearts joining together. Being one solid mind uh, and body. But like I said Mike. He just seems to go here and there and there and here and putting shit out there that he shouldn't even be putting out there you know let somebody else find out but you don't be going on shows saying yeah we had a rough time i'm like damn you had a rough time with the other two women just say you need to be an eligible bachelor you just want to date you want to screw around you want to do whatever you got to do and you might be the lady that I'd be showcased with you know going to nice uh events and and, and celebrations and stuff when we're out about rubbing heads with the, you know, rich and famous and stuff of that nature. But I just don't want to be married. You know what I'm saying? You could play that Oprah and Stabman stunt. Just forever be dating and, and whatever. Because you ain't doing nobody no good. And we know y'all ain't have no more kids. But I like the relationship between those three. At first I didn't at first. I ain't gonna lie. But it has proved to be that they do watch out for each other. They do watch each other's back. But I don't know because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do another video on who Candy was trying to tap into. Because they said it. She, she's already apologizing 
to us about uh since she did that move like Portia. I don't like this shit. I'm like, you gonna stay, you gonna start some shit, or somebody gonna start some shit with you, and you have to end it. Don't come back apologize. You know what I'm saying? Take that to the to the Lord. Get on your knees and repent. And that's all you need to do. Don't you know, don't don't come up here in the public. If you did stuff out there and it's gonna show, just let it show. Don't make no apologies before the scene. Because that ain't what we do. If you were defending your honor and your, your whatever somebody was getting in your behind and you didn't like it, then it just is what it is. Let the just fall mother and late. But don't be coming back trying to apologize before we even see the scene. So, yeah, I got to go get on can about that. I don't know what it was or who she fussed with. I'm going to give y'all my speculations of who I think she got into it with. It might not be the truth or it might not come out to be. But I'm just thinking about it, looking about it, seeing about it. And I said, hell, I might as well talk about it. <laughs> But yeah, that's all I had for the Celebrity Big Brother rundown on who really got the job and how they got the job and what led up to the job and why Nina was out of a job. You know, I tell you, when you play dirty, you never win. Ain't that right, y'all? When you play dirty, you never win. And then with her own words, look at her. She talked about Cynthia like a dog, didn't go to her wedding, got mad because she didn't come to Greg Repass, talked about her like a dog, dragged her for a fill. Hell, I think I dragged her too. I know I dragged her. Because I was like, where you were, Cynthia? Even if you would have showed up, showed out. And Nene didn't say nothing to you. At least you could say, I came, Greg. I came and uh, bid you farewell and adieu. And I got to go. But at least, you know, you would have did what you had to do regardless. Because, you know, Nene showed out on you. That would have been poor taste to her. But, like I said, some people, you, you, they do things for whatever reasons. And we can't really know what it is because we ain't in that situation. We don't know the whole full spill of what it may have happened. But yeah, honey, she done took a job from Nene. And I know Nene just spilling over there. Like, Candy did this. She called somebody. She probably talked to that Jenny Chen and got Cynthia the job. I'm going to find out. Oh, what you going to do? That's chain maker. <laughs> That's the money tree maker, honey. When she look at a tree, this, this, you just go out there and it's just money just falling out the air. Falling out the air. That's what Candy said. She make her money tree, honey. Woo, because she don't be messing, she don't be wasting her time for nothing. She can't get a check. She ain't going to be there. <laughs> and she was cheering by said, okay, baby, we'll take the lesser evil. We'll take Cynthia. We'll, we'll film with her. I'm sure we will have no problems. But Nene, uh -uh, she probably started too many problems. We ain't got time for that. We are a respectable show. We, we are about talent, using your uh, mental to get you through certain situations and just see how you fare. Nene be done set stuff for five. Turning out, you know, uh, tables and shit when she get me. Nah, that's okay. We don't need it. So thank you, Candy, for sending us Cynthia Bailey. Hopefully we'll have a good show and she do well. But, you know, at least she got her spotlight for how many, um, what do you call it, episodes she may be in. And we didn't need Lion Moth Nene doing nothing. And we thank you for that. So, I tell you, Nene probably somewhere seething. I mean, smoke coming from her ears, from her ass, and everything. Because the one that she talked about all this time got one up on her. Shy, please. I would like to be a fly on that wall wherever she at. She probably went Noni, uh, the, the boyfriend that's married still. She probably just climbing up the walls just saying everything to him. Nasty about Cynthia and nasty about Candy. <laughs> about why she didn't get that job. Because she always had a conspiracy theory against Candy that Candy was doing something to get all these spinoffs and this, that, and that. But she wouldn't, really wouldn't say Candy. She would just say, they know who they are. They know who they are. <laughs> and especially when she said, I said what I said about your mama. And I'm not taking it back. And Candy said, what you said was messed up. Or I think she said, she should have said fucked up, really. But she said something a little kinder. But she said messed up. And I'm like, child. Now who winning now? Who winning? Who winning? Who winning? Child, please. Nene looking like, ooh. Duck, duck, goose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like Candy said, I see you. Nene said, I see you too. <laughs> but it just is what it is. Okay, Candy got a hit show coming out. Cause when she bring them aunts and their mama, that's all we need. Cause Candy don't really give us nothing when she's on the show of Real Housewives of Atlanta. She the bone collector. Now we got two bone collectors, her and Sheree. Wonder how that gonna work out. But anyway, it just is what it is, and I will see y'all next video. Bye bye.